In this video, I'll show you how to create an in-bond for a shipment using the Customs Compliance integration with Magaya Supply Chain. Then, we'll send the in-bond, also called a 7512, from Magaya to your Customs Compliance dashboard. There, you can complete the U.S. Customs procedure for goods that are still in U.S. borders but have not been cleared through Customs yet. Let's get started. In Magaya Supply Chain, open a shipment. A 7512 form requires five pieces of information. You can enter them in any order, but we'll start with the importer of record. To fill in the importer of record, go to the More Info tab and select the entity in this custom field. Next, on the Routing tab, select these two required fields. Enter the Place of Delivery and the On Carriage By information. The entity in the On Carriage By field is the company delivering the shipment. Then, go to the Entities tab and select an entity for Notify Party. Finally, go to the General tab and enter the Bill of Lading number here. Now that our shipment meets the 7512 requirements, we can send the form to Customs Compliance. In the shipment, click the Customs dropdown. Open the Customs Compliance menu and click Create in Bond. The Customs Compliance integration screen opens, and here is our shipment information, including the required fields we just completed. Verify that all the information is correct. Remember to choose the appropriate transportation or exportation option here. Click Send when you're ready to transfer the form to the Customs Compliance dashboard. This success message lets us know that the form was sent. Let's view the 7512 in Customs Compliance. Go to the Shipments dashboard and open the drop-down to view your unassigned transactions. Hover over the icon in the 7512 column and click Edit to view the details. From the Edit page, you can review the form and complete any needed information. You can also submit the form here. That's how you create an in-bond 7512 in Magaya Supply Chain and send it to Customs Compliance. Be sure to see our knowledge base for more videos and articles about the Customs Compliance integration. Thanks for watching.